people have feared bats for ages, but little is known about them. Brian Arnold, nicknamed Batman, researches bats in the Clarno Basin of Eastern Oregon. Uh, my name is Brian Arnold. I'm a graduate student at the University of Maryland, and I'm here at Camp Hancock uh, studying pallet bats specifically. Bats are the world's only flying mammals. Their wings are made out of skin that are basically stretched out over their hand bones. So their fingers and their thumb and their whole hand is basically elongated. They have really, really, really long fingers. And then that skin membrane just sort of stretches out over their fingers. And then that's what they use to fly. They also have a tail membrane. There are 925 identified species of bats. Uh, the most common ones you'd find around camp are going to be little brown bats, uh, some big brown bats. Um, another sort of little brown bat, which is a different species, it's Myotis humanensis, which is the Yuma Myotis. Um, you'll find a lot of those around here. Their diets consist of meat, fruit, nectar, fish, or blood. But bats in eastern Oregon are only insectivores. Bats navigate with echolocation. They emit and receive ultrasonic sound waves. They aren't blind at all flying around at night. They can actually tell the environment really well. They just use sound rather than sight. Bats live in colonies, commonly found in rock crevices, under bridges, caves, and in abandoned buildings. Colonies do not hunt together, but they sleep and live with each other during the day. The young fly with their mother for a certain period of time, usually a few weeks after they start flying, to learn the foraging areas, to learn where the roosting sites are, things like that. So there usually is a tight bond between the mother and the young as they're flying around at night. Bats play a major role in the ecosystem. Scientists like Brian continue research, shedding new light on these creatures of the dark.